Hello. Today I'm going to deal with conductivity and molar conductivity. So I have got in the table over here the C starts of concentration over here, that's molarity, and you have got 1.1 and 0.01 molar. It's being diluted in every, in every subsequent step, and you have got then kappa over here as conductivity, and you have got that's in semen per centimeter, and you have got the values for kappa over here, and you have got this molar conductivity stands for lambda. M stands for molar, semen, semi square per mole, and you have got the values over here. Now, what's the difference between conductivity and molar conductivity? It tells you that if you ask a question to yourself, what will be the molar conductivity, then this point 1 becomes 1. This is the question you ask to yourself, and you get this answer. Only this. Now, let me tell you, like, suppose that in point 2 liters, a car runs, say, uh, 10 kilometers. So, how far will the car run when you have got one liter of petrol? And how will you get the answer? By dividing it by two, and you get the answer as 100 by two, and you cancel it, and you get 50 kilometers per liter. So, it will give you. 50 kilometers per liter. Now the same question is over here. Suppose that this is my petrol, that is 0.1. This is the kilometer. Okay, 0.1 liter. I run this much kilometer. What? How much will I run if I have got one liter? So every time I'm going to ask a question, how far will I run if I have got one liter of petrol? So another thing that this relationship is not linear. What I mean to say is that when you decrease the concentration from 1 to 0.1, there isn't a same decrease in the conductivity. See, suppose that I dilute a 1 molar concentration to 0.1 mole. It doesn't mean that at the same value, I'm diluting, I'm decreasing the conductivity of this. Now, had it been that, we would have got an answer. 0.113, one tenth of that, like one tenth of this, one tenth of that is 0 0.0013, but we can see that the answer is greater than 0 0.013, it's 0 0.0129. This means that when you dilute a concentration, although the conductivity decreased, but there is a relative increase in the conductivity, okay? There is a relative. This number is smaller than this number, okay? So it is the one tenth of the conductivity is this, since we have diluted it by one tenth, but it is not a linear relationship, it's falling, so the decrease a bit higher. We can give uh, a logic to it, that suppose that this is our cross-sectional area A, and this is, say, one meter, a unit length I've got, so I have got, say, one mole of that electrolyte. Now, what if I dilute it? If I dilute this one mole of electrolyte, I'll be having some less electrolytes in it, say 0.1 mole now. That means I've got lesser number of ions, say we have got H plus ions in it, lesser number of ions. Now since I've got lesser number of ions, there is less of traffic over here, these ions can move very easily over here. Although the conductivity increase, but there is a relative increase in the reach of the H plus ions, because previously you'll be having more of the H plus, now there are less of the H plus, they'll move very easily. So there is not a linear decrease over here. There is relatively you know, higher conductivity. You can see that. Now, then you're going to ask the question, what if I've got 0.1 mole? What if, so look, at, look at over here, I've got 0.1 mole. What if the concentration would be uh, 1 mole? So I'm going to take the same thing, you know. Suppose that if I have to make it 1 molar, I have to increase the cross-sectional area over here, right? Now, it is sufficient enough to contain one mole of the electrolyte. So, it's simply that I'm getting the value 10 times higher over here. Okay? But, there are some more problems associated with it because of the, because of the uh, units. So, let's take it out. 0.1 molar, capital M for it, gives you 1, uh, gives you the conductivity as 0.0. 1 to 9 
and the unit cell, you have to be very specific about the unit. And then, what if it's 1, so you're going to divide it by 1, 0.0129 divided by uh, 0.1 molar and semen per centimeter. Just convert the units. You have to cancel the molar and centimeters and everything. So furthermore, you can write 0.0129 semen per centimeter and 0 0.1 over here, moles. Break it into moles per liter. Now, you have got two different units over here. You have got liter over here, you have got centimeter over here. So, can we link centimeter to liter? Yes, the answer is. Because we know that one liter makes 1000 centimeter cube. I'm not doing anything at all. I'm just converting the units so that they could be cancelled out. So, one liter is 1000 centimeter cube. Simply, I'll do it over here, one 0.0129 semen, so cancel it, and 0.1 mole divided by 1000 centimeter cube. Instead of 1 liter, I wrote 1000 centimeter cube. Now, you know that if you take this one, it becomes minus over here, like for example, you have got 1. 10 to the power 2. If you take it up, it becomes 10 to the power minus 2. So, by that reasoning, you can go on. This will become minus over here, and this will become plus over here when it goes up. So, we have got 0 0.0129 semen per centimeter, taking 0.1. So, we can also write it as uh, 0 0.1 means 1 by 10 over here. That's pretty simple now. We can bring mole up. It becomes per mole. Now we can bring this. I said this is minus. If it goes up, it becomes minus. So mole has turned out to be per mole. Now it will become plus. It goes up and becomes 10 to the power. How many zeros you have got? 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So you have got 10 to the power 4 over here. And there's one more thing. You have got centimeter cube. It will be, it will be a centimeter cube. Right? Now cancel out the units per centimeter and it will cancel out to become two now what do you get <coughs> excuse me so you've got into the power four so one two three four you have got one two nine point zero and you have got this has been multiplied by it you have got siemens over here you have got centimeter square and you have got per mole. Okay, now take a look at it. What answer do we get? 129 semen centimeter square per mole. 129 semen centimeter square, centimeter square per mole. This is the only difference. Now, if we do it in the same way, what would be the conductivity if we have got this concentration, the so 0 0.01 mole, molar? What would be the conductivity when we take it as one mole of the electrolyte? For that, you have to increase the cross sectional area not increasing the uh, unit length over here, the distance between the two plates. So if you plug in the values the same way we did over here, you try to do it yourself and you'll get the answer as 141. Interesting thing is what you see is that there is a continuous increase in the molar conductivity. You can see that 111.3, 129.0 and 141.0. So you have got all these three values in the increasing. The reason is that there is no linear decrease in the conductivity. See, it's not decreasing by one tenth every time. It's less than that, which is why when you project that figure in one mole, you get a higher value. Hope you liked it. Thank you very much. And uh